going guys? Perplex84, back at it again, representing Cerebral Cortex Reviews. And I want to talk about core cutting today, and options and uh, alternatives to do it. Hey, check it out. It's no surprise that all over the world, all over the globe, that people are looking for alternatives and to cutting the core. Because people are tired of paying high bills and looking for ways to watch TV. And what they want to watch? On a budget. And when I'm in my budget, 90% of the time is free. With the mergers of YouTube and Netflix and Hulu and now Sony's in the picture now. People have a humongous amount of options to watch TV how they want and when they want. And today I'm going to expand to that. Today I'm going to show you guys about the Minix box. Hey, I'm better at showing you rather than talking about it. Hey, check it out. As you can see here, this is my Minix box. I ordered this box from Amazon and I only paid 100 bucks for mine because I heard Minix is a really good company that makes quality Android TV boxes. You don't want to just get any box. You want to get something with some high quality and something that really performs well for you. Because the range from prices of 20 bucks all the way up to about 200 bucks, depending on what box you have, how rare it is, and so forth. But anyway, here's the Minix box. It's a standard box. It comes with the big cool Minix logo on there. And uh, this thing is loaded. It has a quad-core processor. I believe uh, they have different types of boxes that range from uh, 2.2 gigahertz to all up to 3.0 gigahertz of speed. So, anyway, as you can see on the side here, I have three USB inputs where you can expand your storage. I also have, I have a Bluetooth dongle in there where it allows me to use my gamepad and my uh, wireless keyboard and everything. I'll show you guys that in a minute. And also it has uh, your power button right here, as you guys can see. Turn it to the back. HDMI. Boom. HDMI straight from the box to the TV. You can't beat that. It also has, I know you guys can see it, Ethernet port. If you want to get the direct feed, connect it straight to your router and modem and have your direct internet connection. And hey, you can't go wrong with that. No lag on your streaming. Like when you want to run Netflix on here or run YouTube, you know, you don't want any lag or anything like that. You want to get the full, awesome 1080p experience with no disruptions. Anyway, uh, here's an antenna right here to help you get a stronger signal. That's pretty self-explanatory. That's all that comes in the box, man. And it comes with a remote control, but I recommend getting your own air mouse remote control. Something with, you know, Bluetooth capabilities that allow you to have full control over your software. I mean, the remote that comes in the box is more of a infrared remote control that really does no benefits for you besides lag up on you and lock up on you. So as you can see here, this is the standard UI, the standard theme, the standard launcher for the Minix operating system. This is the operating system they want to use and it has their own theme and their own launcher pretty much. And the Minix box, let's make it specific. It's like having an Android phone or Android tablet directly tethered or connected to your TV. And you have your full Android and your full Google software browsing, internet browsing, internet experience so let's be clear with it right now I have it all custom made for myself the way I like it like for example you see the remote remote control up here I have this all my games preset in this area right here and you can go and add more here if you like this is this right here gives me the option on what I want to choose just once oh my god <laughs> okay and here as you can see, the Internet Globe right there, I have my Chrome, my YouTube, and my Google Play. Hey, speaking of Google Play, let's go to Google Play. You have the full Google Play Store, unlike the uh, NVIDIA Shield Android TV machine or the um, Nexus Player. They only give you more of a uh, custom-built uh, Google Play Store experience, which is very limited if you ask me. You want to have the full thrill. You want to get the full Android experience when you're talking about downloading software, games, movie apps, music apps, and so forth. And as you can see here, this thing is pretty awesome. There's relatively no lag because the processor in this darn thing is so freaking awesome. I mean, think about your gameplay experience and downloading all your different apps you have like on your like on your phone. You can put the same thing on here. And not all of us want to sit down on our small cell phones or our small tablets and be typing in and punching this stuff. And it can get pretty tedious and frustrating. Sometimes you want to get a real movie theater experience with our Android experience so we want to tether it to our TV and that's what this minutes box comes in that's how it comes in and it gives you that opportunity to do that so let's go back to the home screen you guys kept seeing that box pop up 
this box is giving you the option to use whatever theme you want, whatever whatever launcher you want to you want to use. Check it out. I just downloaded the Atom launcher. You can use 4.4 KitKat. They have marshmallow on here you can use. You can use lollipop. You can use ice cream sandwich even. You can even go back further than that. Check it out. Let's see how the Atom launcher looks. This is the first startup for the launcher, so it's pretty lame. I don't want to use this launcher. Let's get out of here. Just once. But hey, it is cool. We load it up. And it is pretty cool. And this is your own custom launcher. You can put whatever you want on this thing. It's like how you can soup up your phone and customize your phone. You can do the same thing with this. Let's go back to the Minix Metro. But here, I have some cooler launchers here. I like the uh, the Marshmallow Launcher. Let's go to the Marshmallow Launcher, as you guys can see here. Take me the Marshmallow. Let's go to Confirm. Let's open this up. And as you can see, it has the marshmallow theme. Man, you can really hook this thing up. Put whatever background you want on here. You can do whatever kind of TV watching you want to do. I mean, it's giving you a, a boundless amount of opportunities and a boundless amount of capabilities you can do with your TV watching experience. Get your Android TV box and get the full thrill. No longer do you have to pay $100, $150 a month for somebody to cater and tell you what you're going to watch and what you're going to do. Now they have Android TV boxes and, and uh, Apple boxes and everything else that you can use to plug up to your TV. And you can direct it and you can form it and you can mold it however you like. That's awesome, man. You can't go wrong with that. So, hey, if you got a couple bucks in your pocket and you got some loose chains laying around somewhere, go on Amazon or another online retailer. Get your Android TV box. It gives you the full Android experience. You be able to play all these great. Get you a powerful one because you want to be able to play all your cool games and have you know a massive amount of internal memory. And a lot of them come with uh, expandable memory anyway. We can you know go to Best Buy or Walmart and get you an SD card or something and expand your memory and everything. But get you a powerful one so you don't have to keep going back buying them because one is lacking. You know you know you get what you pay for. Everybody heard that old saying and everything. But hey, man, I have so much fun with this thing. I don't think I'll ever go back to cable again. They have to become virtually free. <laughs> you know what I mean? I probably still won't go back to it because the internet gives you so much more than cable these days. And I hate to say it, but the internet is where it's at. I will spend more time watching YouTube and Netflix and Hulu and on my Minix box or any other Android TV box than I do watching cable. In fact, you know, like I said, I'm going to keep repeating myself. I don't even have cable anymore, you know. Am I going to happen again in the future? Are they going to become innovative one day to the point where it forces me to go back? Who knows? We're in a, techn technical we're in a techn <laughs> technological revolution right now. So, hey, sky's the limit. Anything can happen. Perplex 84. Keep doing entertainment. Keep loving entertainment. Keep loving yourself. Keep enjoying. Hit the subscribe button. I'm out, y'all. Peace. This video is brought to you by Cheesecake Productions.